Hey, this is Farjana. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to create a blog post template for DV4. So here is the default blog post template for DV. This is kind of boring design. So here in today's tutorial, I will create a new post template which will look like this. So it will work for all post by default. So let's dive into it and let's get started. So for this, I'm just going to my dashboard and then I'm going to DV and DV theme builder option. From here, I'm just creating a new template and I'm selecting all posts. Now create the template. So for changing this uh, content part only, I'm just clicking on add custom body. So I'm going to add custom body. Now start building. So first I'm taking a new row here. And here I'm taking post title. So from here, I just only will check this title and categories. So I'm just uh, switching off this image. I'm going to element and switching off this uh, featured image and also comment count. And just uh, only want to show here the categories. So I'm also leaving date author and the title and below this uh, here is categories okay now i am creating a new section here regular section and single column so for this section here i am just taking background image and here i will take from here this post featured image now save it and now i want to move it to top and here i'm adding some height or mean height so i'm going to sizing and mean height 300 pixel Okay, and here I'm going to our row settings and from here I just want to keep width to 60% so I'm just reducing it to 60% just going to spacing and here I'm keeping our margins to 0 top and bottom and also padding 0 for top and bottom. Okay, now doing same for this section area and going to spacing and from here I'm going just setting 0 for top and 0 for bottom. Now padding also 0 for top and bottom. Okay, now I want to keep it up uh, actually over this image so I'm going to this uh, module and going to design tab and from here going to spacing and here I'm adding some minus margin so I'm just for here adding 100 pixel so here I'm adding just some background color white and adding some padding from here uh, let's add uh, 50 pixel for top and bottom and also 50 pixel for left and right and I'm just adding some border let's try with 3 pixel and 
color we can okay keep it uh, black for now and uh, text alignment so I'm setting alignment center and I'm going to edit this text so I'm just uh, making the font family to concert and keeping the font size to 30 pixel okay now I'm just going to this meta text so here I'm also changing this font style to I'm adding here something different so I am adding Allura and I'm just increasing my font size and changing this color for now I'm just using here for orange you can also add here your theme color it okay, looks good now I'm going to save it I'm going to save this whole section and crossing it and I have to save changes here okay now I'm going to refresh my blog page now so here is our post page till now so it's looking good now I'm adding our next section so I'm going to our builder again here we can decrease our spacing here seems too much spacing so I'm decreasing my padding from spacing and here I'm trying with 30 pixel and for bottom it, uh, we can reduce it to 20 pixel okay and for left and right we can use 30 pixel okay now it looks better now I'm going to add a new section here so I'm taking a regular section and one column for here I'm just uh, adding post content and here also I'm decreasing our row width to I'm going to sizing and setting our width to same as before so I'm doing it 60% and I'm decreasing this spacing now I'm going to our post content settings from here I'm going to styling this font style so I'm changing our uh, my font family to Montserrat to keep it constant here I'm using same font for all headings so I'm just doing it now I'm going to save it and from here we can also change this color so for now I'm just using same color going to save it so below this section I want to add a new section uh, for author bio so I'm going to create a new row again sorry uh, I'm going to make it uh, for two columns so in left side I will add author image and right side I will add some info about author so I'm just going to change row settings and from here I'm just decreasing row width uh, same as before to 60% okay so left side I'm just going to add image and here I'm just deleting it and I'm going to add here author picture here we'll add author image by default and so I'm adding some style here I'm going to border 
and I'm making it to rounded picture. So I'm adding some rounded corner to 50%. So it now looks uh, rounded. I'll save it and right side I'm um, similar way and first I'm just uh, clicking text volume and from here I'm going to add bio here is auto bio and top of this and here I will add auto name so I'm just deleting it and here I'm going to add post author so here is our author name here is the name format and we can link our author name to author archive or author website so here I'm just doing it with author archive now save it and here I'm just going to add some border for this section so I'm going to add border top one pixel so I'm adding border color to light dark and also adding border bottom one pixel and using same color okay so now I will add here a post comment so I'm going to add a new section here and taking uh, a row now here I'm adding comment so I'm going to add here comment save it and here I'm adding a light background so I'm adding just first this color and I'm making it transparent so it just make so light okay save it now I'm going to edit this comment from here I am just going to edit this text style similar way so I'm going to change this font family to Montserrat and decreasing the font size in same way I can change our font style from here and even we can change our button style from here so we can make it align to left and we can change this button style to use custom style for this button so I'm going to add some background color I'm going to add this background color to this color and border color also same and text color to white now going to save it and I'm going to save it now I'm refreshing my blog post page again so here is our post page style so when we add a new post page uh, from our dashboard so we will get the same style again by default let's try it so I'm going to post a new post from here so post and add new post so here I'm just typing this is another new post and for now we can use our default editor so I'm going to add some text here or just typing here and below I'm going to add image I'm going to add here a new image or like this and here I'm going to add a featured image from here okay now save it and publish it now I'm going to view post so we can see here is our post page style we are getting this design by default 
we need not to design again and again for all post page now if you want to add a new section here for subscription so we can also do this so let's add to something here so i'm going to again our builder so i'm going to our dashboard again and from here i'm going to again our team builder and going to here now we can add a new section below this author bio so i'm going to add a new section with single column so here i'm going to add a new module for email opt-in form i'm going to email opt-in and from here i'm just going to change this background color first so i'm going to make it almost similar and here i'm going to add some spacing so i'm going to add some padding so i'm here i'm trying with 30 pixel top and bottom 50 pixel okay, 50 pixel is okay and for left and right we can again 50 pixel okay so now we can can leave our first name and last name for here so i am just only want to use email and subscription button now i'm going to remove some text so i did not want so many text here so i'm removing some text and i'm going to edit this button style so i'm going to using custom style for this button so i'm going to using text color to white and border color to white okay looks good so now i'm going to save it and for here you have to add a email account for example you can use anyone from here and just save your account here i will create a another tutorial how to activate this uh, opt-in form with mailchimp or any others so for now i'm just leaving it now i'm going to save it again and refreshing my blog post page so you can see here is our sign up form for now we cannot see this uh, form here as we don't set up our account so when we set up our account we can see this form here so here is all for today if you like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and yes don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and welcome to my next tutorial